Hello and welcome. In case you just missed it, we have been here. Just, just, it's been a crazy, crazy ride. I mean, King Hell. King Hell would know all about it, our opponent from Great Britain. Or where is it? United Kingdom. Is that the same thing? I don't know. It's kind of like an uneducated villager's question, isn't it? <laughs> but it's honest. <laughs> all right. So, we're playing the Nimzowich Defense Kennedy Variation. Kennedy Variation. I guess that's with the D4. Yeah. I uh, have to say, I haven't seen this line that often, but I'm just playing the normal moves. I feel like Bishop here works well in this kind of setup. Just somehow. My memory of many games I've analyzed in the past telling me something like that. Because at night, this bishop is quite powerful otherwise, you know. And this pawn structure, if he goes for it, is really not that bad. It's pretty, pretty neat. No question, do we push this up already? If we push it up already, we kind of blunt his bishop, sort of. And our knight is playing a kind of defensive role. He doesn't have a light square, but he can get his queen in. Yeah. Queen in, then we got queen here. It's pretty nice. Yeah. This is on the cards. We want to keep this bishop on the on the table, don't we? Yeah. Keep this bishop on the table. Let's see if he if he wants to come up here. We're delaying the knight move because we don't want his knight to come in there. But maybe I, I should I shouldn't mind it so much. Anyway, it's not like he can play f4. F4 is the main pawn break that White would want to make in a pawn setup like this. I mean, what other pawn break plan could he have? There is none. And that's why this bishop is so critical. Because it prevents. No, it doesn't really prevent. He can always play king h1. Maybe that's what he should do, to be honest. But. Okay, so what if we go here and then we castle. No, he's going to fork. So what if we go here and then we go up. Then he comes in. It can get a little nasty, a little, a little frumpled. Well, let's play the prophylactic because we really don't want that move to be played. Okay, now do we just play it like this here? It softens up our own pawn, and this pawn is quite central. Actually, this whole barricade is really central for blocking him up, so we don't want to mess with that. Let's just offer the trade. Yeah. You see, strategic thinking dictating what kind of moves you make. You think about how you're handling his different pieces and which setups are working in your favor to achieve that strategic objective, and then you do you just play accordingly? So, this is, uh, you can apply this pattern in your own strategic uh, dilemmas which arise during a game, but the key is to ask the right questions, to think the right way. See now, right now, how am I thinking? I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking, you know, he's going to get his queen. You know, he doesn't get his queen to exploit it, which is a unique s approach. Now, I'm also thinking about, like, what the hell am I doing? Like, what's my plan? Where's my pawn break? I mean, it's fine, fair enough to talk about his pawn break, but what's, what's my plan? Why am I getting at all this? You know. And the more I think about it, I feel like I gotta go here, here, and uh, buckle down there or something. I, I don't know. He's definitely going for the pawn chain, the root chakra, as they say. And we can't even allow take back here because he comes in with check. 
So let let's go out of the way anyway, cause we really don't want to be in this fucking mess. Oh, you gotta make a decision, old boy. You gotta decide if you want to take it or not. Honestly, this bishop here it may have done its job. For part of the game to prevent his f4 pawn break. Now we don't even care if he wants to do it, he can do it. It's ill advised to pawn break on two sides of the board in the same game. You know. So I'm kind of comfortable with whatever ends up happening here. I've got to just be very precise. He can push this up. Shit. That will make the whole game crumble for me. He didn't take a shot. <coughs> He's played a pretty decent move anyway. Okay, I'm going to try this approach. Uh, taking it with. Okay. Okay, we need tempo. We need tempo. We can't just muck around. We need tempo. Do we play this at some point? Do we play this next? That's the only way we can stop it. Yep. Because we can't give him breathing room. <laughs> We need to play a move instantly. This is coming fast. He didn't take a shot. And we need to punish that. Only got one minute left. King Hell, you go to hell, man. All right. So how is everyone's day doing? Everyone, everyone all right over there? I'm doing my <laughs> Bakwas manager talk. <laughs> oh man, this guy's a fighter. Gotta, gotta give him credit, man. This guy's a fighter. Yeah, I guess we're going for it. He's coming in here. Okay, well that we didn't mind so much. If he goes for the double check, then we can consider sacking the rook. Yeah. Let's sack the rook. Let's get our... Oh, he came with that, that move. Okay. Okay. Now we don't have to worry so much about the spawn, so there's no pressure to play. And uh, there is a lot of pressure on my king, so I need to really, really, really push for a queen trade. Yeah, no choice in that. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, he's coming in here, he's going down there, it's gonna get a lot of pressure on me. This way, where. Instigating a queen trade or more or less forcing it because he can't allow this, right? But he's so hung up on his plan, he's not letting, he's not willing to let go. Not willing to let go. He's, he should, he should be thinking other things like maybe this or or this or or just capture or whatever, you know. But play fast, man! Thirty seconds left. Okay. He really wants to be a hero. He wants to be a hero. Everybody wants to be a hero these days. Nobody wants to play the 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 crying game. Everyone wants to be a hero. Okay, man. Maybe you'll mate me someday, but it ain't gonna be this day. Right? You can see that, right? I'm even gonna let you take it with a check. Doesn't matter, does it? My king is safe. You are now actually gonna get under attack. And I'm gonna be vicious as hell, bro. I'm gonna be vicious as hell! You hear me, son? You hear me? 
I'm vicious, man. You don't mess with me, bro. Don't mess with me. I'm gonna get ya. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Enough of that, enough of that. You know there was a finish coming. Somewhere it was hopefully coming. Maybe not, it, but it was entertaining. 